Before we actually get into this video, I'd just like to let you guys know that this video was shot a couple days prior to actually taking the i8 down in Shimano Motors, so that's why the i8 is in the video. But yeah, all right, let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to show. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are back with the E90, the car that started the channel, the car that pretty much, honestly, this was the first chassis that we worked on as in terms of rebuilding from Copart. This is also the first chassis that I've ever purchased a BMW. I purchased an E9330i. My first rebuild was an E9335i. So this is an E9328, so a little different, but same chassis. Um, so there's a lot of things that I'm already noticing with this car that I remember with my very first BMW. But yeah, guys, we need to make a full list of the things that are wrong with this car so we can go ahead and place an order on everything in the meantime i did put it on trickle charger so we could try to preserve the battery the car did pretty much almost come dead but we did get it to turn over which was really nice but yeah we will need to leave it on a trickle charger let it charge and uh, let me show you guys what i've noticed so far oh wait, wait wait before we actually get into this build there's actually a secret thing i'm going to tell you guys basically the budget to build this thing is three thousand dollars so that's not going to be including two things that are going to be working with keys motorsports on but other than that the rest of the budget is going to be three thousand dollars that includes whether we're going to be painting it it, wrapping it and all the fixes including rear tires brakes everything all the repairs done to this car guys so yeah if you guys want to stay tuned and see how we do it for under three thousand dollars that's the budget out the door so far our cost for this car is fifteen hundred dollars after fees and all that stuff from the auctions and everything fifteen hundred dollars is how much we spent we only have another fifteen hundred dollars that we can spend on this car to make it look absolutely perfect run and drive with zero lights on the dash but before we actually check what we actually need to get let's go ahead and pop the trunk real quick um there's actually no button to pop the trunk so we didn't even try yesterday especially yesterday there wasn't much battery power as you guys can see uh so there's no button there but uh i think all we need to do is honestly just use the key and yeah yep no it works <laughs> so thankfully the trunk works i did snake you guys a little bit i'm sorry i'm sorry it does work thankfully everything's great in the navy we have a bunch of things in the trunk here so uh let's go ahead and start pulling some of the stuff out so uh one thing that we have here this is for the glove box this actually covers all your uh what's it called the fuses, the fuses yeah so we got that that's good uh, we got this which oh that's the seat rail another plastic piece this is the button for the trunk that looks a little wonk is there is there anything there oh there's nothing nothing there, there bro so that's why it doesn't work okay. so yeah so we're gonna have to order a new button these are probably like 20 bucks nothing crazy um i actually might even get one from fcp Euro because those things do go bad over time okay we do have that piece as well that's for your center that's your ashtray for the center console which is super nice um this is actually what you're missing oh so yeah do you see how everything's just sagging yeah you put in this bracket you bolt it all in and then you bolt in all that stuff to this bracket so you got the bracket the so we main, have everything we need this is the main bracket you still need the little bracket on the bottom okay uh, but other than that we got that little dude uh okay so here's the headlight we got the headlight bracket bro the tabs on the top are good nice that looks so 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 good okay all the that tab is good that tab, bro this thing is good maybe just a good little sanding down you know restore it but um in terms of the modules bro it looks perfect and look at that we got the uh we got the back plate for the headlight too right there oh hold on put that on we gotta see that satisfaction right here we're gonna need a new one of these which are not too expensive for the most part though we do have the complete headlight dude this is money this is at least 200 dollars at the minimum and as you guys know as a budget build saving 200 dollars is kind of a big deal so this is awesome we're definitely going to be reusing this headlight right here i was actually thinking about going with the aftermarket headlights but honestly again we're going to try to keep this under a three thousand dollar budget build for those of you guys who are also getting to the e90s i want to see if it's possible i'm um, obviously going to be doing some things with fcpr in terms of maintenance but maintenance is not mandatory but i, I we are going to be doing it on this car particularly and then some of the front end aesthetic parts um well, actually we have the fender right here so hypothetically if we were to just reuse this fender, uh -huh. bro, <laughs> what's wrong with this fender? <laughs> right? Oh yeah, because so you have a dent right here, which is not bad, and you have a dent right over here. I mean, honestly guys, since this is a budget build, technically, we could just reuse this fender. I'm um, just saying, if you guys got this car off Copart, you'll be able to just, you know, bend that back and just reuse it. And it's not gonna be the best beautiful, you know, E90, but you could reuse this. But again, we're gonna be partnered up with Keys Motorsports to so hopefully get some parts on this car. It's gonna make it look better. Um, but again, we got the fender. We have the original bumper in the backyard. Go ahead and move it over here. Like there is literally no issues with it. We have both fog lights, all the grills. We got a little dent right here, but honestly, we can just pop that out from the other side and we're good to go. Honestly, we can just throw on this bumper as well. Like I said, what a like, good budget build. You think we can use these parts to register the car and then hopefully later on we'll swap we can them just out? upgrade, exactly. So we all can right. honestly just throw this stuff on the car. Um, tabs are all there. 
Guys, honestly, this is a really good cop from Copart. Like, especially a sight unseen. I'm typically scared to get sight unseen cars, but this car, we can literally put it together. It might just look like it has some dings and scratches, but other than that, the car is gonna look pretty decent. Another thing to just mention, guys, typically you buy off a of Copart. Um, I, they actually don't include all the parts uh, that, you know, some, like this car is actually an insurance car, right? Yeah. So yeah, this car was an insurance car, but even if it's an insurance car, sometimes the parts are in the photos in the Copart lot. But when they actually, get, like if you hire a tow truck driver to bring it for you, they don't always get all the parts for you. Like sometimes the parts are next to the car. So if you, they just bring you the car, you need to mention it. So um, these parts, thankfully, were already in the car. But another, uh, the M4, um, I bought it. And I didn't think about telling the tow truck driver to bring the, all the original parts that were in the photos. Like the front bumper was completely missing and we lost out on so much money from grills to sensors. I think I had to spend over $600 in missing parts that were already with the pictures of the car that I bid on. So just lesson learned guys. Uh, but yeah, we might actually end up reusing some of these parts just so we can kind of, you know, uh, uh, reach the goal of a budget build. But yeah, let's go check out what else is in the trunk. And uh, last but not least, it looks like we, I think I should honestly be wearing some gloves for this, but uh, it looks like you do have the ashtray. Was the ashtray even missing you? Um, I don't even remember if the ashtray was missing. Um, but Oh, we uh, can't see it because the, the radio is resting oh, on it. Oh, the radio is resting on it. Yeah, and we have an extra wire over here, which I don't know what that is, but I'm sure that's going to come handy. So let's go ahead and put all that off the side. Let's actually see, are we actually missing that trim piece? What is going on here? This is like an aftermarket setup, bro. It looks like somebody Somebody, yo, definitely there was like an aftermarket DIN system here and they pulled that out. But bro, at least you have heated seats, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh what else? What else? Um yeah, uh that is really weird. <laughs> so okay, we're definitely gonna need to get the trim piece that has the heated seats. That's what we're gonna need to get. That's what we're missing. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I've never actually seen one of these. It's literally just made dedicated for like an aftermarket DIN system. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to remove that and actually reinstall our original ashtray because we need that more. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do first, we got all the garbage out of the trunk, so the trunk's good to go. We ended up finding a uh, a garbage disposal machine. Insincorator. Insincorator. <laughs> So I don't know what we're gonna do with that exactly. It's pretty big, so we might have to, you know, take it down to a car wash dumpster and just dump it there. When the time comes, of course. The most primary thing is we can't roll up this window because every time you roll it up, it gets jammed by the window just because of the way he installed it. You can actually even tell the person installed it is inexperienced. Uh, oh, you actually popped I, this in I, yourself? I pushed it okay. in. Okay, I'd rather push this thing in. Uh, but yeah, basically whoever that was doing it literally just messed up this entire door panel. So we got to take the door panel back off and then uh, just try to readjust this window and the window regulator. Um, again, we need a new mirror, of course. Uh, but um, yeah, goal is to try to get this window to work because if we can get this thing to work on zero dollars, that would be pretty ideal. And then we can at least close the window and then wash the car properly. So that's the goal. Um, is it just me or there's something like... You find something new about Scarpy Day, you know? Yeah, I mean, you want to just leave that for now. So let's go ahead and get the car in the middle of the driveway and just start working on this window. <laughs> Look at that mirror, guys. Oh, man, I cannot wait to restore this thing. I don't know where my brother's going. He just has to come to the middle, but I mean, you do you, boo. Ah, uh, guys, honestly, e-chassis, they're so underrated. Like, for the money, you get a lot of cars. This thing's actually really nice. I get, like, I see it, it's already nice before it's even complete. It's just because I see the vision. Oh. <laughs> Why, why is it so loud? Bro, that thing is so it's janky. So loud for no Bro, we need to fix this thing. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and get this door panel off, guys. show you guys what happens right now what's currently going on with this window and why it won't go all the way up man this bro this this brings back so much memories dude <laughs> all right so roll it up real quick we're gonna bring it up little by little just to show you guys what happens exactly what's going on so as you can see the window it's not lined up where it needs to be and if it keeps rolling it up it's legitimately just gonna hit this side mirror yeah, there you go. That's just crazy. So, whenever that lined up this window, uh, I think all we have to do is just realign it. I think we should be good. So, uh, let's go ahead and try that real quick. Guys, 
<laughs> okay, so we, me and my brother just had this moment where we just literally started crying for like legitimately like 10 minutes. <laughs> you want to film Joker? Yeah, guys. So basically, whoever that fi tried to fix this door broke the mechanisms where the actual, uh, what's it called? Um, the window regulator mounts. They literally did some super janky stuff to the point to where at least now we got the window up. But I mean, there is no way we can get it back to come down and up like every single time. So it would come up halfway and then it'll start to grinding and making a bunch of weird noises. So uh, yeah, we just pretty much unplugged it, but we got it all the way up so he can at least wash the car. He can drive his car. Uh, the two rear windows, they did the exact same thing on both of these. And that's why you can see like they filled it in with like, I don't even know what this is, but like to seal it up to where I think they may have even glued the windows on here, guys. So these four, uh, I mean, other everything but the passenger door needs some work and actually the passenger door is the one that has a dent on it unfortunately yeah so all the doors the, all the doors need to either be replaced or repaired um by I need some like recutting bro like they really messed it up whoever they tried working on this all the panels were already open so yeah they already told screws were missing everything was I, just I, missing bro like they didn't oh, even put I it back together I, so I know much. Yeah, I mean, if you guys don't know how to fix something, at least don't like, if it's, especially your own car, don't jankify it put back together. You know what I mean? Like, don't yeah. Frankenstein it, it back together. It was terrible, guys. Anywho, like, obviously, me and my brother don't know exactly what we're doing. We're working on cars either, but like, we don't, you know, start cutting up our doors and, you know, mess up. Anywho, long story short, um, we're gonna have to actually check back to you guys in day two. This is day one. We're gonna have to jump back to you guys in day two. We're gonna try to fix everything else on the interior. At least now when the windows are up, we can actually wash the car. Um, and then uh, possibly we're gonna start mounting some of the other panels, hopefully in the next video. But yeah, guys, just to go through exactly what we need exactly. We're on the lookout for an entire door now, unfortunately, just because of the how, the, I mean, the door is perfectly fine. Just the internals are all messed up. So yeah, we're on the lookout for a new door. We're on the lookout for this brand new mirror because this mirror is like messed up. We can actually reuse all the glasses and all the windows for the most part, I believe. The bumper and headlights, I think I have situated, if anything, we need a passenger, I mean a driver headlight. We did. We need a little pump down there. We need the button that actually goes over here and some emblems. Other than that, guys, this car is gonna pretty much be running and driving and uh, we're gonna try to make it look as good as possible. We're either gonna wrap the car or uh, paint match the rest of the car. I think what we end up doing is wrapping it because we wanna do something kind of crazy, right? Just, you know, something new, something fresh. We don't wanna keep it like the same old black, especially when we get the new panels and everything on it. I think it's really good. So uh, yeah, anyhow, we'll, we'll check back with you guys at day two. And uh, I know this is kind of random, but we're just gonna talk about how unreliable BMWs are. But you guys know that every BMW is unreliable, so it's okay fixing whether it's, you know, this three series or, you know, X5. Uh, actually, speaking of X5s, uh, shout out to M2. They just released this new toothbrush. It's called the X5 series, which actually sounds pretty awesome. And I've been using this toothbrush for the last couple of weeks. Now, obviously, this is a paid promotional video and they sent me out this product about probably like two or three weeks ago and I had to make the decision whether or not I wanted to promote this they gave me the complete freedom to decide hey if it's no good you're still gonna get paid for it you don't have to say anything but if it's good if you can mention it that would be amazing and that's what I'm doing because honestly guys just as it is important to wash your car it is just as important to brush your teeth if you want to preserve your paint you need to regularly wash it you need to make sure you take care of it or if you don't you're gonna end up having to repaint paint your entire car which costs a lot of money same thing with your teeth if you don't end up taking care of your teeth properly you will end up having cavities or whatever that may be and uh, you're gonna have to spend a lot of money down the road now as you guys know in my videos I talk a lot I show my face I show my teeth and I care a lot about how my teeth look in my videos I don't want them looking ugly disgusting any of that stuff and also I care about my personal hygiene I want my teeth clean so when they actually reached out to me about this product I was like hey I'll give it a shot and honestly guys it's pretty awesome I've been honestly using normal toothbrushes my entire life with this toothbrush honestly the cleaning power is absolutely amazing I love how easy it is to clean my tooth it literally gets in places that my normal toothbrush doesn't just because of the way it vibrates it is pretty awesome and speaking of vibration, for those of you guys who don't like, uh, you know, loud vibration or noises or anything like that, this thing actually puts out like a super low decimal. It actually does not sound too loud. So you can literally be brushing your teeth in the morning, at night, and no one needs to hear, which is super nice. And in these past couple of weeks, I've been using this toothbrush. And when it comes to the battery life, honestly, guys, pulled it out of the box, didn't even charge it, and I've been using it for the past week and a half. I didn't have any loss of power. It's been honestly performing the same since I got out of the box. 
box and then when you have to charge it i heard it takes about six hours to fully charge and you're good for 90 days so straight out of the box i haven't even had to charge it yet but when it comes time to charge it it's literally just six hours and i'm good for 90 days and believe it or not some toothbrushes are not waterproof and this one especially it's electronic you would want this thing to be waterproof and thankfully it is even at the connector if you actually put water through the connector it will charge just fine so yeah guys shout out to m tooth the x5 series toothbrush is actually pretty awesome it's important to take care of your teeth just like how it's important to take care of your paint because if you don't take care of your paint you need a new paint job don't take care of your teeth you're gonna need new teeth and <laughs> that's no good guys just found a good deal on some headlights from my brother's car 220 dollars for two adaptive headlights let's go ahead and cop them hopefully they're in good shape guys these are complete and honestly in really good condition 220 what a deal and guys we are back on day two of working on my brother's uh, e90 project so uh, we basically titled this rebuilding and restoring because we want this thing to be restored to perfection that's yeah. the goal but on a budget on a budget so that's also another goal um so my brother originally so i don't know if you guys saw in the last I mean, earlier in this video, it wasn't the last video, earlier in this video, this headlight was actually in the trunk. And uh, yeah, we just went ahead and plugged it in. I didn't screw in anything. We just plugged it in. Hey, can you go ahead and just flip it to, uh, you know, basically get all the lights to work. And let's just see if both these headlights work. Um, this one's missing the back cap. And this one um, is cracked right here. I mean, it's not a big deal, but probably condensation was built up. Yeah, go for it. So yeah, as you guys can see, the halos are working. The daytime is working. The side is working. That side is working. As for this headlight, uh, yeah, go through it again. Yeah, everything seems to be working here and that one's working as well. So honestly, um, this one just needs a new lens. This one just needs a new back cover. And honestly, other than that, both tabs on both of them are perfectly good. So we, we really lucked out on the headlights, but locally, I actually found a guy selling some headlights. Lights. I'll actually throw in a couple clips right here. I actually drove down. He's in Elk Grove. He had both headlights on for $220 for both headlights with brackets and everything complete. So let's go ahead and plug those in, see if those work. And if those work, honestly, we're going to put those ones on the car because they're in better shape and then take these ones and sell them for probably $300 or $400 and actually try to make some money off the headlights while having two complete headlights. Because basically, for this headlight right here, this back cap, I don't know if you guys can see, but back here it's missing the cap that covers all of this that cap alone is 40 to 50 dollars just for that cap and as for this one if you wanted to remove the lens and replace this lens you're looking at another 40 to 50 dollars so you put looking at a hundred dollars in repairs uh, for these two headlights basically which is not too much but at the same time instead of spending a hundred dollars you could spend two hundred dollars get two new headlights well, not new but use complete perfect shape and then sell both of these for $300, at the end of the day, you're not losing $100, you're making $100. So I think that's a pretty much a come up. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see these headlights, they're so much more clear, it looks so much better. And this is the other one, like that just looks so much better. And again, these are complete no way shoes. We're actually gonna go ahead and plug these in a little bit just to test these ones out. But the two on the car, let's go ahead and remove those two so we can start recouping some of our money and actually getting those on eBay. headlights guys so let's go ahead and plug these and just make sure everything works before we sell the other headlights because that will suck then then we have to order some new parts and then we won't be as much in the profits as we need to be and uh anywho not nor enough talking let's go ahead and get this thing installed Again, halos, and I think daytimes are running but that light's not turning on over there on either one so uh don't know what's going on there exactly so basically, we actually removed the two bad ones that were in the two new headlights that we picked up. And unfortunately, yeah, they are pretty bad. Uh, there's no point to actually try to salvage these or anything. I think they got a brand new set off Amazon's like 25 bucks and it'll come tomorrow. So we're not gonna be installing the headlights in this video, mainly because if we have to install it, we have to move the weather guarding and everything just to replace the bulb. So we'll go ahead and replace the bulbs before installing it. Uh, hopefully we get the bulb by you know the next, the next time we do another video. Uh, but in the meantime, these are ready to go, ready to be shipped out. I might as well take them, put them up on eBay. And then you know we try to get some of our money back. Well, you are not going to like this. Huh? You are not going to like this. Oh, what am I coming like that? Come on. Who cares about your trip? Do you see your door? <laughs> <laughs> Is it recording? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think basically, the, yeah, the, the window right here stopped working completely, so they just shoved the window up, and then they just, just shoved the block of wood to keep the window up. Bro, what's going on, dude? 
Like, who are you helping here? So, I mean, typically, if you don't want your window rolling down when your ring door regulator is bad, you just unplug it. Like, here it is, guys. Just unplug it, literally. This guy literally nailed in a piece of wood in here to prevent the window from coming down. That's crazy, bro. I've never, that's some next level stuff. Yeah, but right like, there. think about this. Thing is like, what, like five bucks at Home Depot? I mean, at least he invested some money into the door. Right? <laughs> Honey, let's go ahead and get this thing out, guys. All of, it's a sock, It's dude. a sock, man. It's it legitimately... Bro, it could be a Nike sock. I mean, if you guys need no, sock... no, I have one of those socks. That same brand. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'm not Bro, joking with you. That's wild, dude. But uh, yeah, the window... Yeah, the window does go up and down where it's supposed to go, which is perfect. So we just need to get a new window regulator. We just need to tape this window up as well, but we'll get we'll good to go, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we need a window regulator, but we also need to remove this wooden block, bro. I just... Oh, it actually fell. So, okay, well that's not too shabby. I mean, it doesn't look like you have to remove anything else. So, I guess that's good. What were you saying about your doors, Leo? Like new condition. Bro, uh, no yeah, when we actually put this up on Craigslist, just say it's mint. It's mint. This is uh, just meant for um, extra installation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is GameStop refurbished, bro. Any of those. Um, so yeah, guys, in terms of what else should we do today, bro? Like honestly, so we got this. So we need, we need to, actually, we need to move the motor off that window regulator. Just make sure that motor is good as well. Uh, but we need two new window regulators and hopefully our two rear windows should work perfectly. Uh, this door, um, the, the previous owner really messed up the mechanism to the point to where this door like it's just i don't know if it's reusable so we're gonna have to figure that out i don't really know we're probably gonna have to look for another door unfortunately i know it sounds crazy but the way he bolted up and screwed it in on this door it was just so bad luckily we got lucky on this door and that door um this door does need some repairs we need a new mirror over here this mirror is shot so we did add that to the list we're looking at for a mirror so unfortunately that door is perfectly good the shell is good but there's so much screwing up and he literally messed up the guiding rails for the window so the window when it goes up it doesn't go up where it needs to go and then obviously this door um is just kind of messed up right there i don't know if a body shop can actually fix that and it might be actually good because the window is good on this the mirror is good on this it's just that bottom section right there i don't know if we should repair that or get a new door we'll see how that works out whatever that's cheaper because these doors nowadays are going for like 80 bucks so honestly repair replacing the door may not be the end of the world but yeah guys let's go ahead and get this motor out real quick Guys, I also had a box of emblems that I kept from a bunch of older BMWs, the E46, the E90s, and all that good stuff. So I actually just threw one on the car right now. <laughs> at least now you can tell it's a BMW. So I'm pretty happy with that. And guys, we are at the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. I mean, so far we placed an order for all the window regulators, um, all the door um, handles. We actually already got a door in a trunk, so that's gonna be an upcoming video as well. Um, we just need to get one other door. So we got the passenger door, we got the trunk, now we need to see the driver's door. Um, so yeah, the bulbs also did come in. So Hopefully, hopefully, guys, in the next video, which I'm going to be trying to film today, I'm getting this video out for you guys today, but then I'm also going to be working on the next video. Um, so we should be able to at least put the headlights on. I might be even throwing the bumper, the fender, uh, and then possibly even start working on some of the internal stuff um, and for the interior. So either we're going to focus on the interior, get everything fixed in the interior to where most of the doors and windows and everything is situated, or we're going to start working on the front end to make sure everything is all, you know, on the car. So either one of these two episodes, I mean, we're going to be pretty much wrapping this car up in like literally an episode or two. Just to get to where it's drivable try to get to pass the inspections and then we're going to start ordering all the modifications and stuff like that and the wrap and it should be absolutely pretty awesome we are doing a lot of budget modifications to this car so if you guys are looking for a budget car and bought budget modifications make sure to stay tuned for this build because we're going to be doing so many budget modifications it's going to be pretty awesome without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out